One of the major themes we have picked up during our research project Forces that bind and or divide is the racialization of Muslims. The process through which Muslims as a category are problematized based upon hierarchical notions of what is Dutch identity and what is Islam. In our project we look at how Muslims talk back. To make it clear, when you want to speak out as a Muslim in public debates, how do you respond, for example, to the thesis Islam is a threat to Dutch identity. This was one of the major themes in the recent election debates on Dutch TV. Claiming a Muslim voice is a paradox in this context. People are using the weapon of the dominant group, that is, the imposed Muslim identity, to denounce its violence and to reject its relevance. When we analyze how Muslims talk back to the idea of Islam as a threat of Dutch identity, Althusser's notion of interpolation is useful. A classic example of a negative interpolation in general is a police officer ordering a person in the street to stop. When the person responds by stopping, he or she recognizes the authority of the police officer. And that person recognizes the identity that is being ascribed upon him or her. In this example, the law-abiding citizen. That was an example of internalizing the ascription. But there are two other ways of talking back. Ignore the call or pretend to do so and resist. All three ways of talking back are a recognition of the police's authority and the ascribed identity. So how does this work in relation to the statement Islam is a threat to Dutch identity? Negative interpolations such as these make Muslims intensely visible as objects of security policies and objects of fear. So as a Muslim, you have three strategic options to talk back. Option one is internalizing the role of the integrated law-abiding Muslims, which means to regulate your Muslim identity in a way that is ac acceptable in secular society. Option two is ignoring the role of the problematic Muslim, which in practice means deliberately ignoring the debates and the identities that are being imposed upon you. And option three is publicly resisting the identities that are being imposed upon you, which you can do by criticizing the debates, by taking up the role of the assertive Muslim, but also by playing the role of the radical. But there are two catches. First of all, all three options mean that you recognize and validate the call of being a problematic Muslim. And second, identifying as a well-integrated Muslim, as well as identifying as a radical Muslim, can be seen both as resisting and overplaying the call. So instead of reaching the conclusions that Muslims have to change in the face of racialization, we might want to consider changing the calls.